Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video should have been done a long time ago, um, but I was just watching some of these today while I was editing my other video that I just posted about um, my last update from my trying to conceive journey, but I thought that I should go ahead and get this video done and get it out there just because you guys might like to know something about me and I would like to know if maybe we have any similarities. Maybe we like the same TV shows, maybe we like the same hobby or whatever. So I would love to hear from you guys. If we have similarities or differences, let me know in the comments below and let's get started. The first question is what is my full name? Um, my name is Anna and my middle name is Lee. I was actually born Brianna Lee and I'm in the process of getting that legally changed only because I have never used Brianna as my full name. Um, my little one sitting right here on the bench in front of me. So if you hear a little one, she's right there. Um, I had never used Brianna and when someone calls me that name, it almost feels like they're calling me Ashley. It just doesn't feel like my name. And my parents have always called me Anna and so they're very supportive of me changing my name. So that's my full name, Brianna Lee, but I am, to me, I am Anna Lee and that's what I go by and that's my name. The second question is how old am I? I am 25. I feel like I'm going on about 55, but no, I'm 25. Um, I'm a lot more calmed down than most 25 year olds probably. I don't go out all the time. Obviously I'm married and have a family. Um, I do enjoy a girls night out every now and then with some girls that I work with, but pretty much I'm a homebody. So for 25, I'm pretty like laid back, a home person. I like to really not leave my house <laughs> for much of anything. I am just such, I'm, I think I'm pretty boring, I guess. I don't do a whole lot of like fun, fun stuff. It's every now and then that I'll do something, but I am 25, just a little bit older than I probably seem. What is my career is the next question. Um, currently, I work as a, um, a billing specialist or like a financial advocate, if you care to pronounce it that way. Um, I take care of three medical clinics. Um, one being a family medicine clinic, one being an urgent care clinic, and one being physical therapy. And I take care of all of the billing, all of the edits and charge reviews for the doctors. Everything they send out as far as visits go, I edit them to make sure they are correct and change anything if I have to. It's pretty um, standard office work, eight to five, Monday through Friday. I love the hours. I love that I'm home every night and don't have to work weekends. I really enjoy the clinic that I'm at because I get to see kind of all over. I get to interact with patients sometimes if they have any concerns. I get to interact with all my doctors, my physicians, my PAs, the nurses, the front office staff. Really, it's a nice, it's nice to be able to interact with everyone and I feel like I just have a really good relationship with my work um, co-workers and they're all pretty much like family to me and I really, really enjoy this job that I'm in. I've been doing billing now for about a year and a half now. Yeah, about a year and a half and I really, really enjoy it. That is not what I'm going to school for as I am currently actually still in college. Because I got married young, I did take a little bit of time off and I had my daughter right after we got married. We literally conceived. <laughs> you tired? <laughs> we literally conceived about a few days literally after we got married. So I take a few classes a semester and I do it strictly online because I don't want to have to go to a classroom and leave my daughter any more than I absolutely have to. But as far as my career goes, I am currently in school for software engineering, which I'm not sure if I'll actually use that degree or not when I'm done. Who knows? I would love to stay with the company that I am with. Um, I don't know if you guys are in the Midwest, if you're in Iowa, Nebraska, Illinois. Um, I work for Unity Point and that is a big medical organization here in the Midwest. It is pretty much the um, competitor of Mercy. If you guys have Mercy hospitals and clinics where you're at, so I really, really love Unity Point as an organization. They are huge, they are growing and expanding, and I can use my degree with them once I finish it. I could switch um, into like an IT role, and that's probably what I will look at doing once I finish my degree, but right now I am in love with my job and I love doing what I do. The question is where am I from? Um, sometimes you might notice an accent come out and, and it's because I am from the South. I'm from Alabama, very Southern Alabama. I kind of went back and forth between lower Alabama and the North part of Florida and the Panhandle for most of my life. My mom and dad are still in Alabama and I visit them probably twice a year. I was just there for Memorial Day weekend. I just flew in for a few days to see them. I really, really miss being back home and it's nothing 
like living in Iowa. We don't have snow, we don't have this cold like weather. We don't have really anything like, like that's here. So moving here was like almost like a culture shock. Literally, it's crazy. Everything here is so windy and flat in the winter time. I wanna go crazy. I hate driving on snow. I don't feel comfortable driving on the icy roads, but it's something that I had to get used to, obviously, because my husband is from here, so. Yeah, so I'm from Alabama, but currently living in Iowa. The next question is how long have I been married for? Um, this right now is June 2017. We have been married since July of 2013. So we will, <laughs> we will celebrate our four year wedding anniversary next month on July 20th, 2017. The next question is what is my husband's name and what is his career? Um, and how old is he? My husband's name is Brian, and we always laugh because his name is Brian Lee, and my birth name is Brianna Lee, so we have pretty much the same name almost. But it's nice whenever we monogram stuff for our house, we have the exact same monogram technically, so it works out. My husband is, um, he'll be 35 next month, so there is a nine and a half, almost 10 year age gap, which since I have such an old soul, it actually works out perfectly. <laughs> um, hi, pumpkin. It actually works out perfectly that um, because I feel like our maturity level pretty much balances each other out and we are kind of on the same level in that retrospect. Um, what is his career? My husband, he pretty much has two careers. He has been in the National Army National Guard for 17 years. He has done different jobs, but for the past seven years, he's been a pilot for them. He's a Black Hawk pilot for a unit up here in Iowa. Um, so he pretty much does army stuff one weekend a month and um, two weeks out of the year. So um, it's not too demanding, but they do go on deployments um, every three to four years and their deployments are a year long. So when I gave birth to this little girl right here, he left when she was five weeks old and he did not come back until she had already turned one. So that was a very kind of trying time, but so that's pretty demanding of him every now and then depending on if it's their time to deploy or not. But his actual civilian job that he does pretty much all the time, obviously, the, our, I guess the normal job for him, he is um, a life flight pilot. He flies for one of the hospitals um, in the next town over from where we live. He actually works for the same organization. It's one of my clinic's hospitals. And so he does that. He's always wanted to be a life flight pilot like as, far, as long as I've known him before I've known him. He's always wanted that. And I'm just very grateful that he was given the opportunity and he absolutely loves it. Um, he was working at a few towns over, so he was actually gone for a week at a time and then coming back and then gone for a week at a time. And that was, that kind of honestly, it sucked. But um, now that he's at a hospital closer, he will be home every night, which is amazing. And so he actually works one week on 12 hour shifts for a straight week and then he's off for a week. So it really works out for our family. It, it was a lot to get used to at first, but now we absolutely love it. The next question is who's my favorite singer and genre of music? Being from the South, I obviously am a country girl. I love, well, I'm not really a country girl. I don't like the, I'm not like a dirty, like the girls who can get roughed up in the mud and go trucking. Like, I'm not one of those girls. I love those girls, but that, that's just not my personality. Um, I'm from the South, so I love country music. And my favorite country artist, it's kind of a tie for two because I have like an all time country artist. And then there's one that I love, have loved for years, I listen to all the time. So obviously you country music fans know that as far as all timers go, it's either um, George Strait or Garth Brooks. And I'm definitely a Garth Brooks fan. I've loved Garth for a very long time. My mom was a huge fan of his, still is, and I am. And I've seen him a few times. I think I've seen him twice in concert in the past two and a half or three years. And it, it seriously, it's so worth the money to go see him. He just puts on an amazing show every time he performs and I absolutely love him. But as far as my everyday <laughs> country singer that I love, um, that would be Chris Young. If you don't know who that is, he is amazing. He is such a good singer, obviously. He has a very, very deep voice. It's very masculine. He's a very humble person and I just love his music. I love every song that he puts out. It's every time he puts out a new one, I just instantly know I'm going to love it. He is truly an amazing artist. He He's opened up for a few big names and now, I, I want to say that he was on, um, honey, I want to say that he was um, on Nashville Star like way back in the day um, and he kind of pretty much got his rise from there. 
but I think he's been pretty much on the scene for about 10 years now and he is absolutely fantastic and you should definitely check out his music. The next question is what is our daughter's full name? And this is my precious hunk of love. Her full name is Aniston Elena. Um, Aniston is actually a town in Alabama. That's where I came up with the name and I absolutely loved it. And the fact that Anne is in a lot of my family, um, female family members' names um, to pay homage to my grandmother, Annie. So I really wanted to have Aniston for her because it was different than just putting Anne as a middle name. And Elena came from Vampire Diaries. <laughs> no shame. I really, really loved that show when I was pregnant with her. Um, my husband's daughter, is eight and her middle name starts with an e so i just kind of maybe wanted to keep that going so elena was on our list because it did start with an e and i loved vampire diaries so um Anis and elena pretty much just flowed for me and that's how her name came about this question is do i prefer cats or dogs and i have to prefer dogs because i am really allergic to cats and I'm actually quite allergic to a lot of dogs too. I have to have hypoallergenic dogs if I were to have any of my own, which we are getting a hypoallergenic dog. Um, I love cats and dogs, but as far as if I had to prefer one or the other, I would say dogs only because I know that I could live with certain breeds of them and cats. I just don't think I'd ever be able to live with them without like dying. And I tried a while back to get my husband to buy um, a Sphinx cat, which is one of those which is one of those like bald cats <laughs> and that did not go over well. He was like, heck no. So I tried, but yeah, if I had to choose, I would definitely say dogs. The next question is what is my five year goal? And this is such a good question. In five years, I will be 30. And in my five year plan, I would obviously my first goal is to have finished my degree in software engineering and hopefully be in a master's program. That's my main focus, main goal. We already bought a house this past year and we're already trying to get pregnant. So of course my next priority would be, I would love to have a kid, <laughs> another child in that time. Um, and then when I turn 30, we have talked about possibly adopting a child internationally. I know that in two places that I've looked, I have to be 30 before I can adopt there. So that's pretty much in the five year plan, but kind of pushing it out five years. If I obviously am not pregnant for three years, then we may have to push back adoption to a little bit later. But th that's definitely my top two is finishing my degree and getting into a master's program and then obviously having another child. Battery died, so I had to <laughs> fix that problem. The next question where I left off was, where would I like to travel but I've never been? I would really love to go to Australia, hands down. That is probably my top place I would really love to go. Only because I would love to, I, I love beachy and I love tropical and I've always wanted to go to Australia ever since I can remember. There's so much that I want to see as far as like wildlife goes and like even snorkeling out there by the Great Barrier Reef. Like how cool would that be? There's just so much to see there and I'm always on Pinterest like looking through my <laughs> what's there and what, what you can do when you're there and I hopefully we can go in the next three to four years. Um, we have other vacations planned that we would like to do first. Disney being a major one of those which Disney is freaking expensive. I think when we are trying to, we're trying to go in the spring next year and I think it's gonna cost roughly seven to 8,000, which is crazy, but for Disney, literally it's worth it and that's normal for people um, or a family the size of four, crazy. But yeah, I'll show you, it's definitely my number one place that I would love to go and I would love to go before I turn 30. It would just be a great experience. And um, I, yeah, that's just my, without a question, that's the one place that I would just absolutely love to go. The next question is what are my favorite TV shows? And this is such a hard one because I'm a TV guru. I love watching different shows, getting into them, conversing about them. I would have to say my number one favorite show right now is Scandal. And I'm so sad that they are not gonna be doing Scandal anymore after next season. But I do feel like it's kind of time to like close it off because the way the writing went, it was pretty much obvious that it was gonna be ending soon. Um, a very close second to that is Blacklist. I absolutely love that show and it's one that my husband really enjoys too so maybe that's why I like it so much. He's not really a TV watcher but he really enjoyed Blacklist. And the, I guess my third TV show that I really really like 
is this is an oldie but a goodie and I think it's still going in real life but Supernatural with Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki my husband and I watch that all the time we've been trying to finish all the seasons like for two years now um we are on season 10 I think finally and I know that season 11 and 12 are on Netflix I believe or something like that and I think they're still going in real life so a lot to catch up on and it's been around since like I was in high school like a long time okay so uh we really enjoy that one it is getting kind of repetitive for me and i'm kind of ready to end it but i really do like it the next question is what are my best friends like um i have three best friends oddly enough they are all almost 10 years apart in age um one's in her 20s one's in her 30s one's in her 40s and the funny thing is, is they all have pretty much the same qualities. They are all very strong, independent women. They all have children. They all are very strong, like family members. Um, are, they have, they're all very family oriented, I should say. And we all have the kind of the same sense of humor. My very, very best friend, her name is also Anna and she lives in my hometown and I miss her all the time. But even when I go home twice a year, we spend a full day together each time that I go and it's like no time has passed and I absolutely adore her. And then my other two best friends are here in Iowa with me. One is a fellow army wife that I have known since before um, my husband deployed the first time after I had Aniston and she was only a few weeks old. We grew close over that deployment and that friendship has carried us till now and I see it carrying us forever. And then my other friend, she was a coworker of mine when I first moved to Iowa and we just connected extremely well my daughter loves her family and she she comes from such a really really good family her daughters um are ones in college and ones about to start high school and they've watched anison for me multiple times and we really just get along and it's fun that when i get all my friends together no matter what diversities or anything they have that's different they in turn, they actually have more similarities, so it works out when I get different friends together. I flown one friend home to meet my other best friend at, on a trip, and then my two best friends here get along, and it actually works out really well. Next question is, have I ever had plastic surgery? And that is yes. I have had a rhinoplasty before, which is a fancy word for a nose job. Um, the sad thing about this whole thing was, <laughs> I actually ended up breaking my nose seven months exactly after I had it done which is why if you look straight on, it does curve a little bit. Um, I'm not planning on having it redone anytime soon, only because my nose went through a lot of trauma. Obviously the nose job itself was very traumatic for my nose and then breaking it. I actually collapsed this entire airway and we had to do a different surgery to kind of fix everything that was in there. And so I figured it's not really that big of a deal to wait. All the big problems that were fixed stayed the same and it was a cosmetic surgery. My nose was a lot bigger. The top was very thin and then the nose pointed down and there was like a quite a large lump on it. So they went in and kind of fixed all of those things. So those aspects are the same, but because of the nature of how I broke my nose, it does turn a little bit. But honestly, it doesn't bother me too bad. I probably eventually will get it fixed later in life, but right now I'm just focused on other things. And as far as that goes, that's the only surgery I've ever had. Um, but I do get lip filler, lip injections, lip augmentation, whatever you want to call it. I get those normally once every four to six months. And then that lasts me for nine months and I generally get more. Um, I normally buy the whole syringe. They do half and half. So I typically only buy one syringe per year and it pretty much carries me the entire year. But no regrets. I know that people can get very kind of touchy around this um, sub subject of plastic surgery and I would love to do an experience video for you guys but I also don't want to deal with a bunch of people who are going to negatively comment and backlash against it because I definitely think whatever makes you happy makes you happy and if you're against it great and if you're not against it that's great too do what's best for you there's two more questions left and the first one of those is how many kids do I plan to have obviously I have my um, Aniston <laughs> and personally I would I would like to have at least one more I would not be hesitant to have two more just depending on how kind of how life throws it at us if I had to pick I would have one child and get pregnant within the next few months and have a baby in the next year year and a half and then I would adopt once I turned 30 that's kind of my plan and what I desire and my husband pretty much seems to follow in line with that but I wouldn't hesitate 
if adoption did not work out to have another child, I'm just going to kind of wait to see what um, God's plan is for us and just hope that I just get more kids. No matter how I get them, I just want more. <laughs> The last question is, what do I do for my hobbies? And I don't have tons of free time, so most of my free time that I do get is at the gym, and I've really started to enjoy attending um, Zumba classes, which is pretty much like an adult dance fitness class, a lot of Brazilian Spanish music. It's really, really fun to kind of like discover and move your hips. I don't really have any hips, but I like to try to move what I do have. It's a really, really good workout. Generally, the classes are 45 minutes to an hour, so it's a really good cardio for the day. And it's really good to have a bunch of women in there of all shapes, sizes, and ages just getting together for this class. If you hear her blow dryer, it's on. Um, so that's my main hobby right now. The second hobby that I have, oh, I see it, baby. The second hobby that I have is which we don't have currently, but it would be boating. I like to be on the water and do kind of those things. Um, I used to wakeboard, I used to wakeboard like frequently and I used to like tube on the back of boats back before I met my husband and we are talking about buying a boat in the next year so that we can kind of get to doing that. Now that he is home a lot more often, we can justify getting a boat. So hopefully in the next year we can get a boat and I can kind of enjoy the things that I like to do and now that we have time for it. So um, that's my main hobby, obviously Zumba, because it's achievable right now and I can do it every single week and not worry about it. And I like to work out and be healthy, but I do find it more fun when it's something like Zumba, when you can kind of dance and have fun with it. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. It's probably a little bit lengthy and I'm sorry about that. Um, do we have any of the same interests? Would you like to tell me about them below? I would love to hear about you guys, what, how we're the same, if you like any of my TV shows or anything like that. Um, stay tuned for my next video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.